Hello, my name is Jim. I'm with Solarbotics. This is the Solarbotics soldering tutorial. Today we're going to put together the Learn to Solder Kit from Solarbotics. This will consist of two LEDs that blink with a couple of resistors that you can wear as a badge because we're going to put a pin on the back of it and wear it around proudly and say, I know how to solder. The tools that we'll be using to do this, we'll be using of course the Hacko soldering iron, some lead-free solder, a set of helping hands, a set of safety glasses, and of course a fume extractor. We will start by inserting the resistor. The nice thing is, is that resistors are not uh, polarity specific, so you can insert them either direction. Once you press them in all the way, flip that over and spread the legs a little bit so that the resistor does not fall out. This will make it easier whenever you're clipping the leads and whenever you flip it upside down and put it into the helping hands. Whenever we solder these components, you must remember Wipe your tip off on either a wet sponge or on the brass sponge first. Then, tin your tip and add the solder to the component by soldering from the opposite side of the soldering iron. We'll do that again. So you wet the tip, take that wet spot on the iron, apply it to both components on the opposite side of the iron, and a half a second later or so, you add a bit of solder to the pad to both components. Once you're done soldering in the components, you can trim off the legs. One of the things that's important to remember about this is that these little pieces of wire can come flying at your face. That is why you're wearing the safety glasses, but it's also important to put your finger on the end of it whenever you trim the lead to make sure that they don't go flying. When you insert the LEDs, the long leg here denotes positive. There's also a flat spot on the ring around the outside of the LED that indicates negative. Insert the positive leg into the positive hole and push it in tight and then we'll flip it upside down and spread the legs just a little tiny bit so that when we put it into the helping hands the part doesn't fall out. Once again when soldering remember to clean your tip every single time either on the wet sponge or on the brass and then tin the tip again. Apply the wet of the iron to both components as best you can. Wait a half a second here and then apply solder to both on the opposite side from the iron. Do that again. Once again we will we'll tin the iron and apply the wet of the iron and the solder to the opposite side. Once again, trimming the leads, although you're wearing your safety glasses, it's still best to put a finger over top of the lead that you're trimming so that it doesn't go flying. Place the battery holder into the holes. Notice that there's a, a white line on the stencil to indicate the shape of this battery holder. And then what you're going to do is flip it upside down and at a slight angle, we'll clamp it into the vise. It doesn't need to be squeezed tight, otherwise you could possibly crush the battery holder. Once again, clean your iron, tin your tip, and solder in your leads. Now we're going to solder on the pin, but the thing to note about soldering larger components like this that will behave like a heat sink is whenever you solder you're going to have to put a lot of heat into them, so holding the solder there for a longer period of time will help. It also will help to wet the iron a little bit more than normal. So I clean off the iron and I tin the tip, but instead of just the regular amount of tin I would like a lot more. Then I place this on both components as best I can, but holding them down firmly with the iron and add more solder. And what will happen is you will see the solder suck right in to the component and you want to solder all the way around the edge. We're going to use the side of the soldering iron to drag that solder around. So now that we've completed the soldering kit, we can insert our battery. Check out your cool new toy. 
and pin it to your chest. And now you know how to solder.